Hey everyone, my name is Adi. Today we will draw a parrot. We will use regular pens that are not permanent, not waterproof. This is important because the technique that I want to show you today require pens that melt with water. So we will also need a brush and a container of water. Let's start with drawing the plan. When drawing animals or people, use the size of the head to measure the body. Ask yourself how many heads is the length of the body. You don't need a ruler. Put your fingers close to your eyes, hold them in this way and move them down while counting. I start with placing the head and I draw guidelines in the distance of a head from each other. You can use pencil to create a plan. Don't press your pencil too hard, so it will be easier to erase it later on. It's better if the pencil will not be visible at the end. In this stage I only draw the general lines and place the features of the face. I will add the details later on with pen. In parrots, the eyes are located at the sides of the head. The eyes aren't as close to each other as in human face. I divide the general shapes into wings and add the legs. I'm just creating the contour of things. I will fill in the shapes with pens. To draw the feathers, I create the edges that are arched shaped. Instead of creating a line, I draw the arches in dots and short lines. To show that the feathers split. And the further down they go, they become bigger. The feathers are more dense and narrow in the neck. When drawing with pens, it's good to draw in a pattern, to cover an area while repeating the same lines or shapes. It can be dots, hatching, cross hatching, etc. I don't close the body of the parrot with a contour line. Our eyes will be able to tell where the parrot ends, even without a line around it. When drawing with pen, in order to create light and shadow, draw your lines or dots more densely in the areas of shadow. Draw the lines and dots more scattered and far away from each other in the areas of light. In this video we will also use a trick to add the illusion of depth. The lower part of the parrot is in shadow. The tail of the parrot is in the same color. So I continue to draw it with the same pen. It is a little bit darker closer to the wing. So I'm adding more lines there. I'm trying to copy what I see. I switch to a black pen and start to draw the wing. I leave some areas white between the feathers. In the face of the parrot, the majority of the space is white. I draw dots in the direction of the feathers and I leave the rest white. Again, I'm not creating a frame around the head with a line. When looking at the left wing, I see that the upper part of the wing is whiter. The lower part of the wing is more black. In the upper part of the wing, I drew lines that are organized in arches. 
in the lower part of the wing. I made it darker at the upper part of the feathers and made the lower part white. I drew the beak in yellow ochre and brown and left the middle in white. The feet looks kind of purplish grey. I actually drew them with both brown and blue. The color of the feet will look different soon. We are going to use a brush with clean water and we will go over the lines of the pens. Now when I'm adding the water you can see that the lines of the pen melt. The pigment that's coming out from the lines will cover the area in paint. Don't go over everything, it's actually good to leave some areas dry and white. The brush collects the pigment from the pen strokes, so you can move the color. Use it like paint, to paint over empty areas. After you finished going with water over one color, wipe your brush and clean it, before you move on to wet another area. Some of the colors will look differently after using water on them, because the color can turn out to be different. You can try to draw lines on a draft paper and add water to them before using them in your drawing. I think that unexpected colors have a charm. In areas that you used more than one color of pen, the colors will blend after you add the water to them. Let the drawing dry. And after you see the dry result, think if you want to add more to it. If you want to add more details or shadows, just add more lines of pens. The lines that you previously drew, that have dried, will stay in the same way. They will not melt again if you go over them with water, but only the new lines will melt. In this technique, to create shadows and dark areas, we are actually using the pigment inside the pens. The more pigment there is, the darker the area will be. I also draw a branch. I want the white of the head to pop out more. So I surround it with another layer of blue that I pulled from the fan strokes. I go over the new lines with water. Now the shadows look darker and the parrot looks more three-dimensional. I cover the branch in water but I keep the center of it white so it will look three-dimensional too. This technique is very good for sketching because you can get a drawing with both details and light and shadow pretty fast. I will add more examples of sketches that I did in this technique. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.